A fuel cell efficiently converts the chemical energy of hydrogen or other fuels into electricity. Imagine having a cartridge that you can slide into your phone to recharge its battery, rather than plugging it in for a few hours. It would be like having an eco-friendly mini power plant that you can carry around to recharge your phone anywhere, anytime. Essentially, a fuel cell transforms chemical energy into electrical energy and consists of three main components, two electrodes and an electrolyte. An electrode is a conductor that allows electric current to flow in and out of the device, like a battery. In a fuel cell, there is a negative electrode called the anode and a positive electrode known as the cathode. These electrodes are positioned in contact with the electrolyte, which serves as a medium allowing ions to flow between the anode and the cathode. Hydrogen, a common fuel in fuel cells, is directed to the anode, while air is provided to the cathode. A catalyst, typically made of platinum, is located at the anode and facilitates the splitting of hydrogen molecules into two components, positively charged hydrogen ions and negatively charged electrons. The positively charged hydrogen ions move through the electrolyte towards the cathode, where they combine with oxygen from the air to produce water and heat. Meanwhile, the negatively charged electrons travel through an external circuit, generating an electric current that can be used to power devices. Although the fundamental operation of a fuel cell remains consistent, various types of fuel cells have been designed for different applications. Polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cells, also known as proton exchange membrane fuel cells, consist of a special polymer membrane as the electrolyte that lets protons pass through. These cells usually require hydrogen as fuel and are considered the best for powering automobiles, though they can also produce stationary power. Direct methanol fuel cells, DMFCs, are similar to PEN fuel cells, as they also use a proton conducting membrane as the electrolyte. However, they use methanol directly on the anode, as methanol provides a higher energy density than hydrogen, making DMFCs a good fit for powering portable devices like battery rechargers and laptops. There are a few other types of fuel cells, including alkaline fuel cells, phosphoric acid fuel cells, molten carbonate fuel cells, solid oxide fuel cells, and combined heat and power fuel cells. There are also regenerative or reversible fuel cells, which get their name because they can not only produce electricity from hydrogen and oxygen, but can also be reversed and powered with electricity to produce oxygen and hydrogen. One of the key advantages of fuel cells that distinguishes them from other methods of generating electricity is their cleanliness and efficiency. Unlike many other electricity generation methods that produce pollution or hazardous waste, fuel cells only emit water vapor. Given that, if fuel cells are such a slam dunk, why aren't they more widely used in our energy-hungry world? Imagine having a fantastic dessert recipe, but you're unable to make it very frequently due to a shortage of ingredients. Fuel cells are somewhat similar. Hydrogen, the primary fuel used in fuel cells, is difficult to store and distribute safely due to the lack of extensive infrastructure to support it. Additionally, economic viability plays a role as fuel cells can be quite expensive, particularly because of the high cost of the platinum catalysts required for their operation. Despite these challenges, advances in technology are helping to change the landscape and make fuel cells a viable solution for the world's energy requirements. As such, fuel cells are already used in backup power systems for critical infrastructure, and in some cases, powering buildings, electronic devices, and automobiles. So, the next time you plug your smartphone in to recharge, think about the future, when we may not only be recharging our devices, but also powering our homes and infrastructure through the clean and cool chemical dance of hydrogen and oxygen. <laughs>